Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. China's breakthrough in the field of EUV lithography is attracting attention from the global semiconductor industry. The latest news shows that the light source system and dual worktable technology of domestic EUV lithography machines have been jointly debugged, and key indicators are close to international levels. The EUV dedicated workshop of SMIC's Beijing plant has also entered the equipment installation stage. This means that China has taken a key step in the field of crown equipment for chip manufacturing. Let's take a look at the technical details and industrial impact behind this. The solid laser-driven light source developed by the Shanghai Institute of Optics and Fine Mechanics of the Chinese Academy of Sciences has an energy conversion efficiency of 3.42%, which is a full 128% higher than ASML's first-generation EUV light source. The discharge plasma technology of the Harbin Institute of Technology team is even more powerful, with an efficiency of 4.5%, which not only exceeds ASML's latest model, but also reduces the power consumption of the equipment by 70% and reduces the volume by 40%, it's like installing a more powerful and energy-saving heart for the lithography machine. Shanghai Microelectronics has increased the life of the light source mirror to 1,000 hours through unique technology, solving the unmanned maintenance problem that ASML spent 15 years to overcome. This technology has also obtained a national patent, which is equivalent to equipping the heart of the lithography machine with a long-term maintenance package. The magnetic suspension double work table developed by the Tsinghua University team has a positioning accuracy of 0.12 nanometers. What does that mean? It is about one ten thousandth of the diameter of a hair. During the debugging of Huawei's Songshan Lake base, this precision manipulator can process 120 wafers per hour, and the movement accuracy is 23% higher than ASML's existing equipment. The virtual mask technology of the Institute of Microelectronics of the Chinese Academy of Sciences has increased the lithography yield of 7 nanometers chips to 70%, just like equipping the lithography machine with intelligent navigation, greatly improving the production success rate. The third phase of the National Big Fund clearly focuses on EUV-related technologies and plans to invest 12 billion yuan in the construction of core facilities in the next five years. Although the MIIT catalogue does not directly mention EUV, support for DUV is actually laying the foundation for EUV which is equivalent to practicing the basic skills before challenging the high difficulty. Shanghai Microelectronics EUV whole machine assembly line has been debugged, and the dedicated workshop of SMIC's Beijing plant is expected to be put into production in the third quarter of 2025. The target cost is only one-third of ASML equipment. This price advantage may make the entire industry heart-beating. Tencent News exclusively reported that the EUV equipment jointly developed by Huawei is already in trial production, with a yield of 70% for the 28 nanometers process, and mass production is planned for 2026. The debugging data of the Songshan Lake base shows that this equipment has passed the actual test of Huawei High Silicon's 7 nanometers chip. The domestic supply chain is also accelerating breakthroughs. Kui Hongyuan has achieved mass production of 40W class light sources. Huazhua Precision's work table accuracy has reached 0.5 nanometers, and the localization rate of core components has increased from 8% to 18%, and it is expected to reach 45% in 2026, although there is still a gap. The progress is quite impressive. The United States has strangled China through the Wassenaar arrangement and ASML said that China's technology is 10 to 15 years behind. But China has taken a different approach. For example, Harbin Institute of Technology's DPP light source technology completely bypasses ASML's patents, and the cost is only one-third of that of imported equipment, which is equivalent to finding a small road to overtake. The reflectivity of the mirror of Changchun Institute of Optics 
Fine mechanics and physics has reached 88%, which is almost catching up with Zeiss's 90%, but there's still a gap in extreme ultraviolet light reflectivity, just like a camera lens, the transmittance is a little worse, and the imaging effect is different. Key materials and equipment, such as high-purity quartz substrates and multilayer film deposition equipment, are still controlled by foreign countries. For example, the yield rate of CNBM's 8-inch quartz substrate is only 35%, which does not meet the requirements of EUV, which is equivalent to lacking good ingredients when cooking. Although China's EUV patent applications account for 28% of the world, the core patents are still mostly from the United States and Europe, and ASML holds 47% of the key patents, this is like when building a road, many road signs are rules set by others. Shanghai Microelectronics plans to start trial production in the third quarter of 2025 and mass production in 2026, focusing on the 28 nanometers mature process first. The industry predicts that if it can be commercialized before 2028, China's semiconductor equipment self-sufficiency rate may increase from 7% to 30%, by 2030, this means that more Chinese chip factories can use domestic equipment for production. According to a research report by a brokerage firm, domestic EUV mass production may reduce the cost of 28 nanometers chips by 40%. Companies such as SMIC have already planned to expand production, which is equivalent to installing an acceleration engine for the Chinese chip industry. The global landscape is reshaped. Will ASML's monopoly be broken? If China breaks through EUV, ASML's global market share may drop from 85% to 60%, especially its monopoly in the field of high NA EUV will be challenged. SEMI predicts that the global EUV market size will be 12 billion US dollars in 2027, and China is expected to take 15% to 20%. This is not only a technological breakthrough but also a reshuffle of the market structure. See the resilience of Chinese technology in breakthroughs and challenges. China's EUV lithography machine has made real breakthroughs in the two hard bones of light source and workpiece table, and the whole machine assembly has also entered the trial production stage. But China must also be clear that mass production still needs to overcome several hurdles, such as light source stability, and supply chain localization. The next three to five years will be a critical period. If the industry chain can achieve a collaborative breakthrough, China's chip manufacturing is expected to get rid of the stuck neck and truly have a voice on the global semiconductor stage. This is not only a technological breakthrough, but also a manifestation of the resilience of Chinese scientists in the face of challenges. If China's domestically produced EUV is really mass-produced in 2026, what do you think will be the impact on people's daily mobile phones and computers? Among the challenges of light source efficiency and localization of supply chain, which one do you think is the most difficult to break through? Welcome to talk about your views in the comment area. Follow me, let's track every step of China's chip technology and witness the key moments of technological breakthrough.